around me What you know about growing up on this side South of the city and we coming to your life On the 275, homie, that's where y'all reside 275, homie, that's where y'all reside Straight up out the gutter and you know we gon' rise South of the city and we coming to your life On the 275, homie, that's where y'all reside 275, homie, that's where y'all reside Oh man Welcome, 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 welcome. What's welcome, up? Welcome, what's welcome, up? Welcome, what's welcome. up, bro? Welcome to the to the show, my brother. Thank you very yes, much sir. for blessing us with uh, your presence. <laughs> and for those that don't know, man, this is a low, this is a legend in this whole game that we, we call hip hop. You know, man. Like, if you don't need to know this, man, you need to slap your motherfucking <laughs> self. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> But awesome, brother, bro. Welcome to the show, my bro. Gangsta red in the house. Gangsta yeah, so red in the house. Thank, yes, you for, thank you for blessing our, 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 pre, our radio station with your presence, my brother. Thank sir. you. Thank you for Appreciate having me. Appreciate it, brother. Thank Appreciate you. it. Um, man, how did, where did your journey start for the music industry, bro? When, when was the first time that you knew that you were like, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rap. I'm going to make this happen. Well, I, I think the music always started because we were playing for my dad. We were playing for the church. Mm -hmm. So I think... I, the music was always it was it yep. was something was coming, mm. yeah. So I don't know. That's how I just knew. So it was like influenced church from church. Like, you well, know what I mean? Where it started. Just uh, doing music. Yeah, was from my uh, the church. Everything comes from God, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. You that. know. True so um, we would go early. Me and my brothers, we we go early, and we're mm. playing Commodores. We're playing <laughs> Brick House. We're playing Rick James. We're just acting Parliament. We're acting like we're we're playing their music. And then right when the church people come, we go right back to the church song. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that's how it was So you us. guys were the full church band? Yeah. Wow. And the youngest. We were the youngest. Everyone else had old old men playing guitar and all yeah, this. Yeah. We were all like little kids playing. Wow. You know? Sort of like new addition. Holy hell. New addition coming into the R&B. Yeah, all yeah, the yeah. little kids, you know? Little guys and stuff, but yeah. wow, that's awesome, bro. That's awesome. You know, a lot of these, <laughs> a lot of these people out here, they um, especially with New Zealand, a lot of the music that comes out here does come out of the churches too, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? And like you said, it comes from God. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It comes out of that, yep. out of that environment too, bro. So that's cool to hear that. You know where you guys started and how you guys started this thing, mate. You know? And then I think where my my loud vocal comes from because I had a, I had that voice. Yeah. So you know, in in church we do you have to sometimes preach. Yep. At, for the kids service. Right. Mm. I was always coming out with the ah ah, <laughs> yeah. so it kind of matches every time. Every coming into the rap, yeah, it was man, preparing your ears, preparing you. You got rap, that. Yeah. Your your vocals is out here, you know. And I was like, so that's how my style was. Mm -hmm. And then I learned that from my dad. You know, when you're in the choir of the church, you sing from you. You come from the gut. Mm -hmm. If you sing from your stomach, it's the uh, yeah. the ah. Yeah, yeah. You do it from your nose. You're, it's the nasally you're sound. You're Rakim, yeah, yeah, the yeah. light, the Nas. mace, the yeah. Nas, the yeah, light yeah. rappers. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So I was always from the uh, from the from Ice the Cube, Tupac. Tupac, yeah. He's a, we he could pick our yeah. Chuck D, yeah. you know, yeah, everyone you from tell. the, the yeah, yeah. Rah, Because that's where the push comes from, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, that, wow, man, that's awesome, brother. Yeah. So how did, how did it come from from, from church to, to Boy Truck? Wow. Yeah, what was the transition? Well, How did yeah. that transition from there to there? Well, uh, me and my brothers went to Japan. Mm. This is before Booyah, West Coast, East Coast, any of that. Mm. We were in Japan, and we were, we went up there popping. We were doing the, the, the dancing, the pop, Yeah, mm. where they say bop. B the B, yeah, whatever. We went to Japan, and we were just hitting our routine, 
And I just like was looking like that, and I told the DJ, "Hey, can I see the microphone?" Yeah. <laughs> they just brought the microphone. And I say, "Play an instrumental," and I started flowing from there. Me and my brother started flowing, started putting raps together, and then what's the the New York uh, video they had? Uh, Crush Groove, not Crush Groove. Um, the one way before then with King Herc and or yeah. Big Herc and them. Yeah, yeah. Not not Wild Style, was it? Well, I can't remember, but yeah, we started putting our making our show and. All the the groups that would come Japan to perform, mm. Beastie Boys, yep. everybody, uh, Lionel Richie's uh, tour, Michael Jackson's tour, all the bands that come for the, to play for the, those concerts was the same band that played with Lionel Richie, played with uh, Madonna, Michael Jackson. They would our our club was the only one open, yeah, to that. you know going till twelve in the afternoon, and they would come and they would tell us, man, what are you guys doing here? Go back to America and make a killing. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. That's how we shop back. And then um, the sumo wrestler in Japan was big. His name is uh, Sally Konishki. Mm -hmm. We called him and told him, man, we just need 10000 He sent 10000 like it was nothing. You know, that was like crumbs <laughs> to him. Yeah. And that's when we recorded our first record called One Time. When, one uh, time, eh? Yeah. The first was, ever record that he's recorded. Yeah. Wow. But no one knows. Everyone thinks that was our first one recorded. It was. But the first one I ever did was a song with Club Nouveau, the group Club Nouveau. Damn. I did That's a song true, called brother. Jealousy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone just out. They, they thought it was we just came with Booyah from the beginning. I said, nah, I was on other other yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You went through different processes there eh, before yeah. you got to that. And point, then like yeah. it's like when we was we did the song with Rick James. We had a song with uh, Rick James. <laughs> Rick, Rick James, James was, was, actual, was actual Rick James. The real Rick James. James. And Rick James was like, man, if when George called George Clinton, yeah. he he finds out I'm on this, he's going to be pissed off. We, that's when we started hearing about, what, why, why, what's up? Rick James told us that um, George Clinton wanted the, a Roger Troutman song, More Bounce. Yeah, He wanted a um, Rick James song. On his uh, album with Atomic Dog and all that. Oh, right, right, but, right. But Rick James said no. Wow. They said no. Yeah. And that's why he said, man, and if he hears I'm on the song that he did with Booyah, Rick James was on our song, yeah. uh, the Knee Deep song on yeah. Parliament. Man, George Clinton going to be mad he finds out I'm on it because <laughs> yeah. I didn't do my song with uh, Rick James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. We was like, wow, what's going on with that? That's when he was telling us. He goes, yeah, he wanted... He wanted um, Roger Troutman. He wanted Rick James stuff on uh, the, uh, the the Parliament uh, mm. album stuff. And I was like, wow, if that would have happened, it would have went, woo. Yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. were all hitters, you know. <laughs> Damn, those are some gems there, bro. And then uh, George Clinton, when, we did, a, when we, we did our second album after New Fucking Nation, mm. we did an album, Good Time, Bad Time, was our next album to drop on Island. Uh, George Clinton, we were doing songs with uh, George Clinton. And then we asked George Clinton, could we... Can we use the font? Mm. And George Clinton just went like this. We had a video, but we lost the video. But he's going like this. I pass it on to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a, a blessing, blessing right there from yeah. the man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a blessing right there. And then right I, there, I had bro. I I I asked George Clinton, "What is funk?" And um, he looked at me and was like, "Gangster, come here." Okay, you know when you were the music board. And you know how uh, the engineers, they always put the red tape, the tape. Yeah. Don't let the bass pass this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let the bass go higher than this yeah, tape. tape. Yeah. And then he'll, he'll go like, you, you see that, that tape? He turns it on and let the thing go over. <laughs> yeah. he, he looked at me. That's funk. And I go, what you mean? He goes, funk is not perfect. No limits. Yeah. You it's not perfect. Yeah. yeah. When they, they That's you, whatever you feel. You, the light's green. That's the only time you can go on the light. And you say, fuck that. You run of the, yeah. the green light. That's funk. It's not perfect. It's not what they tell you is the yeah, law, yeah, 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 yeah. How, how to live. Yes. It's that thing. And Yeah. Wow. So are you telling me that that's the birth of Booyah and funk? Well, that's where that's I got it from George Clinton. He told yes. me, what, let me know what funk is. And yeah. from that, I just kind of look at that because I my life, I, I just been like that. Mm. You know, it's sort of like the Samoan Pe'a, the tattoo. Yes. Mm. I had told my brother that I want to get the Samoan Pe'a, but I want to do mine in red. Mm. Not the regular Samoan way. Yeah. And my brother, yeah. my youngest brother, his name's Gotti, he was like, no, you can't. You can't. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. And I looked at it, I go, that's the same thing they said that we couldn't rap. Mm. That's the same yes, way yeah, the people yeah, were sir, saying, right. yeah. you can't rap. 
that's, that's why I said, nah, man, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. I want to do what I know I'm better at. I mm. don't know. Mm. That's mm. why I was notice I do things different because it's that I stay funk. Mm. I don't want to listen. I don't want to yeah, listen. You got the funk going. Hey, you it. can only do it if you guys go left. <laughs> I, I want to go right. <laughs> Just cause. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's sort of like how it is, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we say it like that, bro. It's it's, it's amazing too, bro. Because when you when you join the funk and that hip hop together, bro, we want to get to a song that was blessing our neighborhood, bro. Called Raid. Wow. That that was blessing <laughs> our neighborhood, and we. You know, we knew a lot of blue boys. We knew a lot of people in that. And, and, you know, there's one part in that song, and I think it's dedicated to the bass drummer, or the bass guitarist, when it goes. Oh, monster. Yeah. Oh, monster. OMB, my brother. Bring on the bass. bass. Yeah. What is his name? OMB, One Man Band. One Man one Band. Man band. that's the brother that plays all instruments. He plays everything. Wow. So I was so man, you're OMB, man. You know, you, you know. And um, when he picked up the bass... He never knew he was playing it upside down like Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> True. Yeah. That. And then he just he didn't know. He just thought that's the way you hold the bass, yeah. but he didn't know it was upside down. Damn. Mm. But everyone does it now, but they change the string to on the way the it. way the right player would play it. Yeah. Right. yeah so switch it around. So eh? that's why a lot of our our, our, our sound was different because mm. he was always dumping left. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yes. Man, that that song because there was a group out here and they were called mm. OMBs. It was. It stood for Original Messy Boys out here. Wow. And when that part came in that song, man, it used to go crazy just right out this, this <laughs> the place <laughs> out here, bro. Like it would go nuts because they they thought you were representing what we represent out here. I said, like, man, I'm sure that's a, a, the name of the bass player, bro. And the boys are like, nah, man, it's our gang. Man. It like, man, like, yeah, and that's and, sort of like the the Godfathers. Yeah. The Godfathers. There's a gang out here. The Godfathers. Yes, that's right. Yes. And they, yes. I met I met some of them. They're it's telling me, yeah, gangster. We didn't name Godfathers after the movie Godfather and the yeah, Italians. Yeah. We did it after Godfather from the Booyah. That's right. Sort brother. of like the same what That's you're right. saying. Yeah. I was like, man, if my brother Godfather was alive, he would go crazy because. Mm. Bro, the influence is massive out here, my bro. Like, that's, that. why, that's why we were like, bro, the bro's going to be here and we're going to be able to chop it up with you today, bro, <laughs> and get that yeah. knowledge. And, and, you know, the, our youngsters that are out here, bro, that watch this, um, this, this podcast, you know, it's all about influencing them somehow. You know, yeah. and see someone that does great music, like, you know, we're trying to bring up this history of all the music that we've done and see someone like you here yeah. doing it, bro, it's a blessing for these youngsters. And that's why I, I tell people you don't have to rap to, to just do what you do, do what you're good at, you know, find something you're good at and stuff like that. That's my advice, what I tell them when they say, but I don't rap, gangster. Mm. Don't have do you to. know how to screw a light bulb on? Yeah, and be the best at that. Hold the, do you know how to turn yeah. the microphone up? Yeah. Do something. It. Yeah. It's like when when I, I would be on the side of the stage watching my brothers get down or watch a video, I'm looking at our stuff. I'm like, even if I wasn't the lead rapper, I would find anything that I can do, even if I'm holding the sign, I don't care, to be a part of it. Yeah. You Play know? your part, eh, bro? Just, yeah, just playing a part of it. Yeah, that's what it. I mean by that. Wow, you wow. Know? Now that's that, awesome, That's where bro. that PYP comes from. PYP, play your position. Touch. Yeah, yeah. No, that. Hey, you're trying to rap. Yeah. It's not your position. You're supposed to work, hold the uh, the light, you know? Yeah. <laughs> play your position, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. And I don't that. care what it, what you do. Be the best at it. Be the best hold, uh, light holder. Whatever it is, eh, bro. Yeah, you be, the the best trash, at it. be the best, best trash, trash empty empty it. It. You know? Yeah, that's it, man. Mm. Our parents taught us that. Man. Our yes, mothers sir. taught yeah. us that. Like, hey, sons, you can be the best at whatever you put your mind to, brother. Yeah. Now, so, now you know? going back in time, to you, you were saying about you did a deal with um, Island Records. Yeah. Who who did your the business talkings on behalf of the the group that is Booyah? Um... I think really Godfather, my oldest, you know, because mm -hmm. he did. Godfather's name came from us because my dad was so much into the church. Mm. We looked at Godfather like our dad, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and when we came to getting the new shoes, the Converse, or anything, Godfather or, or find a way to provide it for us. Mm. We wouldn't have food in the house. Godfather would go rip out, steal the the lunch area in the school, bring it on. That's how we eat and yep. all wow. that other stuff. Got to do know? what you got to do, eh, bro, to get yeah. things going, and that and that's awesome, bro. Like you yeah. know, end of the day, brothers out there providing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Keeping it happen and making it happen for you and guys, bro. All that just kind of like 
That's why everyone thinks like, nah, that's Gangsta Ridge. He he wouldn't want to rap with me or nothing. They mm. don't know. I rap with it. I wouldn't even, the way I used to be in gangs, I wouldn't want to rap with no crit. Anybody mm. wearing blue? Yeah. That was me. Yeah. My brother Godfather was the one that said, the Crips love you too. They do, my bro. And that's what made me work with everybody. Mm. Work with everybody. Yeah. It wasn't because you're you got to be someone or something like that. Or, mm. That's why I was always when they see damn gangster, I'm on a hundred and a hundred and eighty nine songs on YouTube, mm. working with just everybody. I, that's more than anyone. I did nine albums. Didn't get paid from none of it. Mm. There's people. There's the people out there still stealing my shit. I haven't got paid from none of that. Mm. So not only that, my coming to New Zealand, I got the number one music manager, a lawyer. He said, "Gangster, you just go on, do your thing. I'm suing everybody. Mm. Everybody, you don't care. I'm suing everybody. You can get your money." And that, my thing. Till today, I, it, 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 it goes back to that saying, I don't care about the money. Mm, mm. You know, it's, it's that thing. The journey that you've had in this music industry too, eh, bro? Yeah, like it's that, like, that's unimpressible, eh? You know, you know, there was a time me and my brothers were in Hollywood. Mm. And we're all drinking at our side. And the uh, uh, L.A. Lakers, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, they were all sitting on their table with the Lakers. But when you look at the Lakers, they're all like this looking at us. And my brother Cobra was telling me, you know why they're looking at us? And I was like, I know why they were looking at us, but I didn't say nothing. He was mm. like, you know why they're looking at us? They're looking at gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> gangsters. Yeah. He said that. I said, nah, you know what they're looking at? Mm. They're looking at family. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I ain't I ain't gonna bother. Yeah, I had out my bro. Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's amazing the work that you. And that's why your movement was so strong, mm. because yeah. you were a family, mm. hey. And a lot of you's moving together, so that's what I, I would have gotten a lot of people. Yeah, it's just to see you's like that. Mm. Yeah, hard out, bro. Because you's a blessing our people out here, my bro. You know what I mean? Like our people out here looking up to. Um, I mean we're we're a multi Polynesian country down here. You know what I mean? And all of our people are down here that are trying to find different ways. When you grew up, bro. When you grew up in in America, is it? Yeah, I mean you might see some of the youngsters here and how they grew up here. I mean, obviously, it's totally different from what it was, you know, from the youngsters growing up in New Zealand to how it was over there where you yeah. guys were brought up, you know what I mean? Um, do you think that uh, the, our, our Polynesian people here are uh, in a better place in New Zealand or in America? Where do you think that our people should be placed to make this thing happen for, you know, uh, and for the future of the next well, generation? For me, you know I mean? that's why I, I want to I wanna move here. I want to live in New Zealand. Mm. I don't even want to go back to America. Mm. You know, I yep. just love the way it is out here. Yeah. And to see all our culture, everybody just here. Mm. Yes. You know, in America, Korean, Chinese, Japanese walk by. Yeah. Blacks. You know, it's when they over here it's just all us. <laughs> yeah. I don't have yeah. to go, okay, it goes to Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there goes to Japanese. Over yeah. here it's just yeah, you know a whole bunch of us. Yeah. Hey, you got any corned beef? You know, you know, <laughs> that thing, you know. Yeah, 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 bro. Nah, exactly, brother. Nah, and that's cool to say. And, and it's great. It's good to hear that. You know, you you love our country over here too, bro. Because uh, I've never been to America. I've seen what it looks like on you know through the rap videos and everything like that. And, and we've watched your guys' stories and seen you in movies too, bro. So you know we wouldn't understand how America brought you guys up. You know what I mean? Compared right. to how New Zealand brings us up here. You know, but at the end of the day, New Zealand's getting pretty pretty bad now too. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, a lot of our youth are misguided at the moment. And, you know, for me and Hope, we're always trying to find a way that we can actually give something to them or, you know, just to show us something that they can look up to. And that's, you know what I mean? that's sort of like what I say when they say, gang, uh, gangster, are you still in, in gang? Are you still mm. in the gang and all this and that? But my thing, I tell them, well, you know, I know... They know me as the one that started blood, that started gangs and all mm, that. Mm. Now I'm I'm here to show you that it's about it's about living now, you know. Yeah. I used to have all my raps I'm talking about I wanna die. Mm. I don't wanna be here. Mm. I wanna be here now. I don't wanna I don't wanna go that fast. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's, mean, it's like a whole it's all a whole change. Eh? Yeah. You know? Me. And yeah. Nah, that's good, bro. That's good. You got new music coming out, bro? You doing something new? You doing some, some new stuff while you're down here? 
I think when I just opened my eyes, you ready to go? Yeah, I, I got music coming. It, it's something, yeah. something new's coming. Yeah, yeah. Now when my eyes close and my time's over, mm. you know, leaves. I'm gonna try to leave something that's gonna live forever. That's why I do music. That's what we do. I got nine you, albums. Mm. Yeah, everyone says they don't know Booyah, they don't know Gangsta Red. I don't care. I got mm. nine albums. Yeah. Pick one album and find, and you'll know about. It. Yeah. It's like we're doing um, the Booyah story. Mm. We're doing the Booyah movie and all this. Mm. <sighs> and my brother was like, "Yeah, we're gonna have Dre. Dr. Dre is gonna do all the music." I said, "Wow, we're just gonna say, here, Dre, do our music." Just play our Booyah albums on our stuff. Why you got to get Dre paid? Mm, Dre's yes. already paid off his headphones. He yeah, don't yeah, even yeah, need, yeah, he yeah. don't have to do nothing. Yeah, he's, he's good. And I'm not dissing Dre. I'm just mm. telling my brother, come on, man. We've been doing that all our life. Mm. We've been doing what we thought was ours. Now we have a time to, to really show our stuff. Mm. Why we got to go get Dr. Dre? Because he's the number one producer. I said, I can get my nephew right here. <laughs> I let him make a track. We can do that, and it'll be yeah. whatever. It'll go wherever we want it to go. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. When you've been doing it all yourselves, yeah, this it, whole it's time, it's not even just rap or whatever. I'm just saying, if you do something and you believe no one can do it like you, mm. do it. Yeah, yep. believe in yourself. That's right. That's you right. Know. We gotta believe in ourselves, eh, bro? Because you know, and find you a Maldi wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't try to be like me, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm old people. Beautiful people out here. I'm old people. Tons of fin are up in us. Yes, sir. <laughs> and that's why we can understand what you're saying right there, brother. Yeah, nah, how that, bro. Bro, any shows that you went to when you were in the game, bro, that was the most memorable one that you would be like, man, I just did the show and I've just seen this guy perform or that lady or somebody perform, bro. Was there any show in your lifetime, bro, that just like, man, I just... Stood on the same stage as yeah, I didn't know. I mean, like just talking about like what's his name, Rick James, was it Rick James? Yeah, man, that's that's massive. Uh, you know, oh, I, mean? no, I would have to say we performed in Paris, and um, we had a show, but our show was with the show. Uh, Prince had a show on the other side of Paris. Hmm. Everybody was at our show. And Prince, Prince was even in our at our show. Oh wow! And all I remember, my brother Cobra was like, "Did you see Prince?" And I was like, "I didn't see. I just act like I yell. I act yeah. like I see. I'm just <laughs> rapping." Yeah. But he said, "Prince gave us a thumbs up." Prince was on on the top of the stage going like that. Yeah, too. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. My brother Cobra was telling me, so I, I would take that as one of the wow, what what a wow moment too, yeah, bro. Yeah, That's up like, there with Michael Jackson, bro. Yeah, oh, Prince, yeah. His, those would have been crying for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what a lot of people would probably not, if they didn't even know about you guys, is that yeah. the amount of, uh, like, very up there artists that yeah. you have worked with over the years. Bro. It's, it's kind of crazy because when my girl was writing my stuff, she's writing, writing um, my stuff. Oh, you're right, Oh, okay. Yeah. My girl's writing my stuff and she's like, she was like tripping out, like, "Dang, babe, you're talking about Suge Knight, you know?" Mm. I'm I'm telling her stories on things, and yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. "Are you talking about Whoop Dee Woo from Wu Tang? <laughs> you're talking about Nas?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know." And wow. everyone trips out because um, I was in at death row. I threw my lyric book at Suge Knight. Mm. I threw. I tried to hit him in the head. Yeah, because I was I was kind of fucked up. I was off the Hennessy. <laughs> so when I walked in the studio. Every, my boy and Sugar and them, they were all right there. Sugar was on the chair smoking a cigar. Gangster, you put me on the trail. And I, I just came in and I just threw my lyric, but foom, foom, flinged it at him. He, he, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> he looked for my brother Monster by uh, OMB. Monster, Monster, where Monster at? Monster. Yeah. And my brother's like, What's up, Sug? And he's like, What's up, Sug? And Sugar's like, Gangster's crazy, man. Gangster's crazy. And then I think uh, Left Eye yep. from TLC. TLC. I think it was Keisha Cole. Wow. They were at Death Row too, but they every day I come to the Death Row, everyone's telling me, hey, Keisha Cole and Left Eye is looking for you, gangster. I was like, what the fuck they want from me? So I'll go find them. I said, what's up? They were coming, come here, gangster, gangster, whispering. I was like, well, what's, what's up? Suge Knight scared of you. <laughs> Suge Knight scared of you. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But yeah, shit like that. Oh, Suge, yeah. Oh, man, that would have been an experience. And then everyone like, I talked to, man, is Suge really this, really that? I was like, 
But when you, when I'm you, Samoan, man. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You, I don't care. You King Kong, you Godzilla, you're going to get your ass beat. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And All you think just me, day. my mom. <laughs> you know how he is, man. Yeah. You know? Oh, no, <laughs> but uh, I've got to admit, he's a, we're a force. When you see he's on TV and you see the interview, you guys, like um, um, House of Pain. Um, the, yeah, if, all dudes like that, and the the first thing they always saw was that you guys were big, and yeah. man, from our perspective, watching you guys on TV, you were a massive bro. units. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I trip on myself too. I was like, man, I shrank down. And I, look, I go, you sure that's me? Go, no, that's my twin. <laughs> Yeah, man, there's some big boys, man. Like even even like hearing it in um other other like um African American artists raps, bro. You know what I mean? Like right. T Pain when he talks about you know pockets flatter than the sound I'm on in. You know what I mean? Like yeah. talking about it. I was like, damn. Like, you, even you when know? um Digital Underground when Shock G said that, mm, yeah, Samoans, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's that wow. thing. Wow. So you you've actually made an impact on yeah. on on these artists, bro. Yeah. That made you them talk. <laughs> like that with like respect, that. yeah, hey, yeah, you know what I mean? Because there's there, there's a lot of other stuff. Hey, did you guys beat some people up in Seattle? But it's Samoans in Seattle that yeah. was beating up yeah, people. people. Yeah. All right. No, they had long hair like Booyah. They had this like that. I, go, <laughs> I never even been to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, already blaming us. Yeah, you uh, know? first blame the polis. Yeah, so yeah, it's shit like that. Oh man, uh, but even journeys like that. When you say you just went to France. Paris. Like Czechoslovakia. Wow. So, man, yeah. Like, I trip out because I see the, all How the fuck the Samoan boys yeah, end up in Europe? It's crazy because I just see, when I see the stuff on them, looking at the map or looking at the country, I'd be like, damn, I've been here. You know, I'm like tripping out. I trip out myself too. Like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when people talk about it, you know, and I'm like, wow, it's crazy. I've been there. I, I performed over there. Yeah, it's wow. crazy. Wow, is that what is that what took you there? The music to these countries? Yeah, but the uh, reason why we went Japan, we went to go dance. We we just went to popping, pop, yeah. just for money. We were trying to find a way to make money. We didn't know it, it was rap. I just saw us dance doing our dance, and I was like, man, it's kind of boring. Hey, let me see the microphone. I just started flowing. Yeah. Then I started telling my brothers, hey, let's all rap. And it just made it look like it was a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then next thing you know, booyah. Yeah, hey. sure. <laughs> oh, no, that's Lopez, bro. Lopez. Wow. What an what a experience. Hey, yeah, honestly, yeah. honestly. I, I, I'm lost in where to even start with the, with yeah. the journey. Mm. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, there, was, these were, there were a lot of artists like Cube, Mac-10, right. Dub C. And then we, when, when you watch a booyah top video and you see these guys in there, you know actually how deep into the music game you guys really are. Mm. Right. right. Yeah. The respect out there for you fellas too. It, and um, the reason why we always watched Ice Cube was my brother Godfather. Hey, go out, make sure Ice Cube's cool. This round, he just left NWA. Mm. He was going at it with Easy and them again. That's right, yeah. And when uh, Cube came and he spit it on our, some of our music, Godfather was like, hey, I don't care. That's how everyone say, how'd you guys get into security and all that? I was mm. like... After we started watching the rappers in America, yep. now you got Polynesians everywhere getting jobs. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I bodyguard yeah, Fuji's. Yeah. I bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was just when Godfather told us watch Ice Cube, Eminem, any rapper, just yep. make sure they're okay. Because, mm. you know. Hospitality, bro. Yeah, it was just wow. the way Godfather always told us, hey. And then the, artists, the way we are with our Simone there, hey, tell everyone come eat. Feed mm. everybody. We don't, mm. you know, in America when we were in the studio, we'd be in the studio. The engineer will come and say, you guys want something from McDonald's? <laughs> and we're like, no, nah, no. Nah, we, we say no because he's meaning do we want something that we're going to pay for our own McDonald's. Mm. You know how we yes. are. Yeah, yeah. Everyone come eat. That yeah. means we're everyone all going to eat. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's just stuff. That's why uh, the guy Big Boy, mm. he ain't Big Boy no more, but... Yeah, big boy always talks about that. Man, every time I come to your studio, man, their mom, man, the mm. food's ready. It's like, man, it's like you feel welcome, you know? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, because you got to remember, too, before the gold, the diamonds, and all that other stuff, that was our money, was the food. Mm. 
you want, you want some fish? <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay. You That's know. what we just fished for some kennels. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, man. And there's a lot of people on here right now too and they're just, you know, giving shout outs to you too, bro. And, you know, and, and loving that the stories out there from your from your perspective too, my bro, because, you know, we're, we're just a little community station out here, bro. And, the impact that we're making out here from people that, you know, you guys telling your fellow stories, bro. You know what I mean? You just brought up some artists that a lot of our kids would have grown up to, bro. You know what I mean? Right. TLCs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking Prince. You know, all these people. And those are just, those aren't just like average people, bro. Right. And, you know, I, I hear you talk about them and it's just like, oh, yeah, no, and then the bro, and these guys, these guys, and it's like, man, wow. But it's kind of crazy when I tell, to you, tell you guys about it. Mm. In America, I wouldn't go and tell my, my homies that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the first thing I'm thinking, they're going to be like, Oh, oh, you know the eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tupac knew you. Okay, fuck <laughs> you, man. So yeah, it was always been like that. But yeah, that's yeah. why it's like. That's but why I, be honest, I, I would I would tell those stories <laughs> proudly, brother. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, just yeah, for yeah. the fact that these are legends, brother. Just mm. like yourself, right? Yeah. Hey, a long time in the game, mm. and then speaking on that, a long time in the game. When did you guys first do your first? Record deal. Was this the late eighties? Yeah, it was in the eighties. Yeah. Wow, it had to be our first one. But I did that song with Club Nouveau, right? Jealousy. So that was that's why they say Gangsta Booyah is your first on worldwide music. Mm. I was on Club Nouveau, so they trip out when they say, "Damn, you did a song with Club Nouveau." I was like, "Yeah." So. Wow. I mean, we grew, we grew up with a lot of um, uh, Polynesian brothers too in our in our time too, and you know they used to, you know the plats. That yeah. they came out here, bro. Like some of our bros rocked it, and we're like, yeah. man, we get that style from this. Like, man, it's like, oh yeah. And we're like, true that. And then we have a look at it, and like that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That was yeah. influencing a lot of our our mates when we were in college. And, and I the, still got mine. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm 52. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, with whatever knowledge, you brother. do, don't cut your hair. Let it go. Let it go until it falls off. You know? But yeah. No, wicked, bro. And you know the stories that you're pulling out there. A lot of people out here. Uh, if you want to give a shout-out to our brother on our stream, man, just let him know. Just say, give a shout-out, and we'll tell where you're from and all that, all these people on here. Shout-out to everybody that's on the stream now. Can you share it around so that you can get our brother's great story out to oh, everybody, yeah. too? Oh, yeah. You know, this is something that, this is a one one time opportunity, and then, you know, for, for you to be here to bless us with your stories about things, and that this is what we're about, bro. And don't forget... Ice Cube, please tuck that thumb in when you throw the W. <laughs> you know? Tuck the thumb in. <laughs> tuck the thumb in, kiss. West Coast, West Side, Subo. <laughs> ah. oh, no, now, now let's let's get into that. The when did the gangster come into it? Mm. Like where you grew up, was that a thing around you at the time? Yeah, it was. That was the lifestyle, right? Yeah, it's just not even just a lifestyle. It's really everywhere. It's mm. still the same. It don't yep. matter if it started here, started there. It goes back to that saying I always say: "It's how you do it." Mm. I don't care. You guys follow Gangster Red, follow who, any rap group, whatever. But it's how you're gonna do it. How you want to come out. I don't yes. care. Yeah. Just believe in yourself. Believe in something that you know you're good at. Mm -hmm. And it could be like I said. It goes back to that. You can be the best Fist trash. Deliver. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yes. be the best book writer. You can be the best money counter. Yeah. I don't know. Just believe just in be it. Believe best. in it and just don't stop. Mm. Just keep going. That's it, Always brother. think about going forward. Yeah. You That's our own eh, bro. That's yep. the one. Um, I just keep the favorite rapper. Yeah. Too much, brother. I love the journey and thank you for sharing. So these are some people, some comments and they're saying thank you for sharing your journey with us. Um, these are a lot of our people that watch our stream all the time, bro. Oh. So you know what I mean? And and it's influential. That's our goal here. Right. It's about like you know people like yourself that are influential, that have done things, been things, and can talk on it and speak on these things and how things go. Yeah, bro. That's so. why it's a blessing that we have you in our studio mm. tonight, brother, to speak on these things. You know, because yep. these are stories that you probably wouldn't get anywhere else. You know what I mean? Unless you're yep. speaking directly with you, the mm. man himself, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, we really man, appreciate that, I, my man. Bro. I'm really thankful for y'all having me. And Nah, man, we're thankful for you being here, my bro. Do you have any Do you have any shout outs that you want to give to anybody, bro? I just want to shout out to all my homies back home, Westside P Funk Pyru gang, all the yeah. Bloods, all the gangs in the world, man. So woke. He really is. And um, is. yeah, just pick up that album, listen to the music, man. That's what I love about New Zealand. It ain't like in America, New Zealand. You just go on that one mountain in New Zealand. I'm coming out with my new record. <laughs> And everyone in New Zealand knows, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> so you know, yeah, that's bro. how I look at it. Nah, that, you know, that, that, you don't have to go New York. You don't have to go to L.A. You don't have to go Atlanta, New Zealand. You just go to one big tall mountain. Hey, my music's coming out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got any corned beef over there? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll be there with the corned beef. Uh, all good, bro. Bro, now nah, appreciate your time, my bro. Um, before we before we um close up our show for tonight, bro. Um, I just want to like we've got a, a a beat battle that we've we're, we're running, bro. So there's a rip your beats that we're gonna run, and we're gonna announce tonight. It's a beat making competition. So, oh shit. yes, yes. Yeah. So tonight we're gonna announce the uh, finalists, bro. So while you're here, we'll, we'll, we'll just run this off before you um. Before we finish up for the show for tonight and that, so we've got our finalists. So we we're picking eight people to come and be on this uh, Rip Your Beats Challenge. This is our fourth year that we've done this for yep. making beats, and this is the time right here that we're going to actually start doing these names and get these names out here. So we're going to start this off. Um, we'll get these names out there first. Um, I'll start. You start from the top, cousin. Yep. Oh, starting from infect infectious, cause. Yep. So there it is. That's the first one. Infectious, you're yep. in there first, my bro. Uh, is it Pumpkin Milk? I'm not too sure because there's a V after the P, so figure that one out. Yep. Taylor Hansen. Vindal One. Vindal One. Uh, Slant Eyes. Spewer. And DTOA plus K-Dub, all together in that. So those are, the, those are the eight that we've chosen. So we've chosen seven, and we've actually... Nah, we should choose nah. more because we, we should get some more. We've got to get some more. We'll spice, spice it up. We'll spice it up. We'll, up we'll go. Okay, so we've got, um, we'll make it 12 now. We'll make it 12. So the other people that's in there Cody Wave, Buddha Sticks, Styles Tracks, and Creative Kit. Oh, yeah. So there it is right there. I'll run it past you all from the start. So K Dub is the champ, Cody Wave, Buddha Sticks, Styles Tracks, Infectious. Pumpkin Mill, I think how we say that. Yep. Taylor Hansen, Vindale One, Slant Eyes, Spewer, DTOA, and Creative Kit Man. So yep. there it is right there. Daily Dosage. And there is your Rip Your Beats champions that's going to be battling on the 25th on here. Rip FM, Digital Styles, something new that ain't nobody going to be doing this thing out there. We're gonna, so we've got something really, really cool stepping for you guys. Stepping it up, cousin. Stepping, stepping it, it up, up man. <laughs> so my bro, thank you very much for coming through to us. And, yes, sir. And, uh, Been a blessing, brother. And blessing our, our table with you guys, bro. And appreciate everyone. And thank you to everybody making this thing possible for us to interview our brother right here. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And we will see you guys again on Friday with a special guest Ooh. because, you know, we do this all day. Oh, yeah. Rip FM, peace out. Peace. Tell me what you know about growing up on this side yeah. South for the city and we coming to your life On the 275, homie, that's where I reside 275, homie, that's where I reside Straight up out the gutter and you know we gon' rise South for the city and we coming to your life On the 275, homie, that's where I reside 275, homie, that's where I reside On oh, me